what to do with demons in the sanctuary. That was in the synagogue, a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth, art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of Israel. They knew who he was. They knew who he was. This man was demon possessed. He was possessed by a demon. This man had the devil living in him and was perfectly, and note this, he was perfectly comfortable with church folk. Have we built up a tolerance in our churches for people with unclean spirit? How do you feel about homosexuals? How do you feel about lesbians? How, how do you feel about liars and alcoholics and adulterers and fornicators? How do you feel about lawbreakers? God robbers, folks that don't. How do you feel about folks that don't give God his time? Come on, turn your name and tell me how you feel. Are you comfortable sitting next to them? my own purpose. Well, the Lord has a purpose in sending some devils your way. Look at your name. <laughs> Say, the Lord has a purpose. I know you don't understand it. I, I know you don't want to receive this, but the Lord has a purpose in sending some devils your way. Look at your neighbor and say, there are some people in your who are not in your life to help you. But they are there to destroy you. So very often God puts people around us not to help us but to destroy us. To get you upset. To mess with you. Do you know what one of the functions of the devil is? To constantly point out your weak points to God. No one of the functions of the devil to discourage those that are doing a good thing. The devil among us walks around discouraging people from working in the church, doing what's right and blessing the pastor. I'm just obeying God, but I'm being met by contrary winds. Anybody that will do business with God must understand that they will encounter the enemy they will encounter winds that are designed to keep them from their appointed purpose <sighs> the wind blowing vociferously they're trying to get to the other side they were on the ship they were Wind blowing. They were away. Difficult, but I'm rowing. Disappointed, but I'm rowing. I have every reason to lament and, and be melancholy, but and every time you come to church, you're rowing. Every time you pick up your Bible, you're rowing. Every time you read your word, you're rowing. Keep on rowing. You might have to cry, but keep on rowing. You might have to be by yourself, but keep on rowing. Frustrated, but I'm rowing. Tears in my eyes, but I'm rowing. Friends don't want to go, but they've been 
talk about you, but keep on growing, keep on. Some of you are about three seconds away from a breakthrough. Some of you are about a praise away from a breakthrough. Some of you are about a hallelujah away from a miracle. Tell them, keep on growing. The devil that has come to vex you, he cannot really do it until your hour has come. And, and, and you know what that means when the devil is real busy in your life? Look at your neighbor and say, do you know what that means when the devil is real busy in your life? It, it, it means that it's promotion time. The devil's movements and behavior indicates to us I want you to jump up on your feet and say, it must be my time. It must be my time. If he's moving in your life, it must be your time. Don't lose heart. If you're being quick crucified, look at your neighbor and say, don't lose heart if you're being crucified. Don't, don't lose heart if you're being spit on. Don't lose heart if you're being degraded and taken advantage of. It's promotion. Do you understand it's your time to be promoted? Your resurrection is around the corner. It's promotion time. It's promotion time. Now, before the choir sings, I know some of you may say, how is it promotion time for me when everything is going as crazy as it's going? But I have to put an explanation point on the end of that presentation. And that is, if God has to give you an interruption in order to promote you, he will interrupt whatever he has to interrupt to promote you. Wherever you are, tell somebody, get ready for an interruption. Because he's going to promote you.